Today, we're going to be discussing agents and daemons on macOS, including how to find the plist file for a running process. So let's start with the basics. What is LaunchD? LaunchD is a macOS system service manager that starts, stops, and manages daemons, agents, and other processes. It's basically the first process that the kernel starts and is basically responsible for starting all other processes on the system. So to demonstrate this, we can open up the activity monitor and we can go to view all processes hierarchically. And then if we just collapse up here, we can see the top process is the kernel task and under that is the launch D. Okay, so what are the launch D agents and daemons, and what's the difference between the two? Uh, so daemons are background processes that run without a user interface. So there's no UI and they typically start at boot time. So when the system starts and before the user logs in and they run continuously in the background. Uh, so one example is Apple's time D time synchronization daemon, which makes sure that your system clock is accurate. Um, and another example is perhaps you are in a corporate environment and you have a device management uh, agent installed, such as Fleet's Orbit, and that also starts as a daemon. Agents, on the other hand, start when a user logs in and they run in the context of a user session, so a user can interact with them. Oftentimes the agents may have like a task menu bar icon right here. Up here. And uh, that lets you configure uh, agents, uh, agents settings. Okay, so let's talk about plist, right? Uh, plist stands for property list and it's how agents and daemons are configured. So let's look at an example of a plist file. So let me uh, find a path here to one. And let's do, let's do cat. Let's look at this one. So uh, sample example, uh, you see it's an XML format. It's got some environmental variables that you can pass into that process. Uh, keep alive here, meaning that if it's killed, um, LaunchD will try to restart this. Uh, label, so it's basically an identifier, uh, run at load, basically runs um, when system starts up and you know a few other things like uh, some log files and, and there's many many settings. So one good resource uh, for, for this is this launchd.info site, right? So it has, it has a, a, a lot of configuration settings that can be specified in the plist file and, uh, and some other info. Um, it also includes the typical locations of agents and daemons. So there's five typical locations. I mean, user agents um, go here. So basically when uh, the current user logs in, if they have certain, uh, certain things installed, those things will, will get launched from this directory. Global agents uh, will run for all users, basically when any user logs in. Um, and system agents, so basically global agents is basically something that um, you installed on your machine, while system agents are typically uh, Apple-specific stuff that runs. So we got three locations for agents, and then we got two locations for daemons, so global daemons uh, something that you would install and system daemons typically something that um, something Apple specific. Okay, so how to view the contents of a plist file. So I demonstrated already um, just doing a cat, right? Cat from this location of this plist file, but the plist files can be in multiple formats. They can be in binary, XML, and JSON. For example, I'll uh, give an example of this, another plist file. So say I want to take this Apple plist file. So if I cat this, I see some garbage. Well, why is this? That's because it's in a different format and I can check the format by doing file 
and it tells me it's an Apple binary property list. So how do I view this? Well, there is a uh, PL util, property list utility, PL util that can be view, can be used to view basically any plist file. So that's a convenient way uh, to do this. Oops, to view uh, one view any file. You just pass it to PL util. Let's view this file. And there we go, we got contents. Um, PL util also has some other set settings. It can convert between uh, binary and XML. It's got a main man page. Um, that you can examine. So that convert here, convert between different formats, XML, binary, JSON, and even Swift and, uh, and Objective-C here. All right, so another thing to note, very importantly, is that these plist files can be used for cron-like scheduling. So in fact, they're the recommended way to schedule tasks on your system. So one thing you would typically use is setting called start calendar interval, right? Uh, so here's an example. If you want to start a job at a specific time, um, like at 3 a.m., you would put this in your plist file. All right, let's discuss how would I go about finding a plist file for a running process. Say I've got my activity monitor up. I see that a process is taking up a lot of CPU, or I just, I'm just interested about it, like what is it? Um, so we have the PID here. Here, you know, activity monitor, if I click info, doesn't really tell me that much by itself. Um, but if I take this process identifier, 623 or three, we can go and look for it using um, the launch control utility. So let's go ahead and do that. So there's two ways to run, uh, run launch control. Well, there's many ways, but I'm gonna highlight two. So if you do launch control list, this will show you um, everything that's running in the user context. But if you do sudo launch control list, this will show you everything that's running in the system context. And yes, you could Go up here and say user root. Okay, this is running in the synthesis system context, so I have to use this one. Or you can just combine and run both of them, um, just for simplicity. Maybe you can alias to this command, launch control list, and then we can just grab by that process number, which is six two three zero three. Asking uh, for my password because I use sudo, and there we go. We have the identifier for. Uh, that process. Um, so now the next step is um, we can go ahead and look into the in these standard locations uh, for plist files like these five locations and one thing of note it is possible for the plist file to be somewhere else or there may not be one that's existing I mean theoretically it could be loaded from memory or something like that. Um, but a more sure way is to use the uh, launch control uh, dump state command. And that will give you a whole bunch of information about everything that's running. In this case, we're only interested in the plist file. So we're going to grep uh, this incantation before one line, after four lines, using regular expression active count equals, and this, this will be a number. That's why we need the regular expression because we're using these brackets. And then we are basically gonna grep for, grep again for this guy. Let's go ahead and run this. And there we go. It tells us the location of this plist file, right? And then you would do pl util dash p that and uh, to view the contents, there we go. All right, and that concludes for today.